Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Mac and Sephora haul. I know the Sephora VIB sale is coming up soon. I wanted to show you some of the things that I have been picking up lately. I've been trying to put off most purchases for the Sephora sale, but I did pick up a couple things that I was afraid was going to sell out. So if you want to see all the things that I have picked up from Sephora and Mac over the course of the past few weeks, then just stay tuned. So I'm gonna start off with Mac first, just because there's one thing I really wanted to pick up and it's my most recent purchase and I had to share it because I'm sure a lot of you have heard quite a buzz about it, but it is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. So I ended up picking up two of them. It is the highlight I am wearing today and it's pretty similar to Whisper of Guilt. I own that, but I'd say it's a little bit darker and more peachy. So I did put swatches on my Snapchat, but it is a gorgeous highlight. I had to pick up two because I knew it was gonna sell out in a hot minute. You guys know the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Formula is my absolute favorite formula out there, so I had to get it. I also picked up two new brushes. I was also snapping about these. I picked up the MAC 135, and it's just a goat hair, big fluffy brush for bronzing or contouring, pretty much anything. It's a really good brush for, for the face. And then I also picked up the MAC 132, which I was planning on using for just concealer underneath the eyes. So two really good brushes. You guys know I've been really into the duo fiber lately, and this Jaclyn Hill mentioned in a recent haul video. So I had to go get that. Then I also picked up the MAC 24 hour extend eye base and I already used this in a couple tutorials. So I have been using it and liking it. It is a little bit tacky. So if you put on eyeshadow, just go straight in with your blending colors and things like that, it's gonna stick a bit. So I recommend putting down a translucent powder or a neutral colored eyeshadow just to cancel out any stickiness so that the other eyeshadows can blend out a little bit better. So that's my only problem with this. Because it is so sticky, it makes your eyeshadow last 24 hours, I swear. It's, it's that good, really, really good product. And then I also picked up the Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. This one I didn't have. I've been eyeing it for a while. It's quite chunky and glitter. I mean, it's nothing compared to the Extra Dimension Skin Finishes, but it is part of their permanent range. And it's really pretty as a topper and things like that. A little bit too dark uh, if I'm not super tan for a highlighter, but it's still really pretty as kind of a blush bronzer topper. Then I picked up the MAC Lip Pencil in Auburn. Never heard anyone talk about this, but it's just a really pretty reddish brown. Look gorgeous just all over the lips or lining reddish brown lips, the typical 90s brown shade, and it's just gorgeous. So definitely recommend checking this one out. As I said, I've never heard anyone talk about it and it's really pretty. Then I also picked up one of the Sculpt and Shape powders in Light Sweep and Shade Stir. I've been using this in tutorials already for you guys and I really like it. So definitely a really convenient way to sculpt and highlight the face just all in one. And I really like it. So good for travel, good for just every day, easy to use, don't have to have huge palettes out, just a little compact like this. And it's perfect for doing the job. And then I also picked up the MAC Pigment in Ruby Red. This was sold out for a bit. I had my eye on it and it's just a really pretty pigment. I just been obsessed with MAC pigments. If you guys know from my recent hauls, I'm always picking up pigments. So it's just a really pretty red shade, would look really good with what I'm wearing right now, but I just was really attracted to this color and I just been really into reds lately, which is really weird, I know, but a nice pretty ruby red. And I also picked up, I was just about to wipe off my hands and forgot to mention I picked up MAC wipes as well. So just another bulk of the MAC 100 sheet wipes. Uh, some of my favorite wipes and relatively inexpensive with the MAC Pro discount. So I like to keep those in my kit. And that is everything I picked up from MAC. So now I'm going to move on to Sephora. There is a couple PR items that are scattered throughout this. So I will just tell you which ones are PR when I get to them and I always mark the products that have been sent to me in my description box, just in case you're curious. The first thing that I picked up is from Stila. It's the Eternally Yours Liquid Lipstick Set, and I did swatch this all out on a liquid lipstick video that will be up on Friday. So if you wanna see all these swatched out, then stay tuned for that video. I talk about all my favorite liquid lipstick brands and formulas in that video, so stay tuned. And this is just a really great set, especially if you want to try a bunch of different colors and you're interested in liquid lipsticks. This is a great set to try out. 
and I believe it's sold out pretty fast online so definitely go into Sephora and check this out because it's worth the money and you get a ton of different shades. Another product I picked up and have been using in my videos already is the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion for Lips. This is really good treatment underneath liquid lipstick. So what I just talked about, if you have dry lips and you want kind of a protective layer before putting those on, really good for winter. It injects your lips with collagen, just makes them look a little bit more plump and it doesn't have doesn't let your lipsticks dry out your lips. So what I really need, so it's been working well for me and I enjoy that. Then I also picked up a, another liquid lipstick from Kat Von D in Double Dare. I'm waiting for their liquid lipsticks to be restocked. There's so many shades that I want, but they aren't being restocked. So I'm not sure how to describe this color, but it's really pretty and uh, I just was really drawn to it. It's called Double Dare if I didn't say that. Yeah, double dare. And then I also have the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Been using this in all my tutorials pretty much because I've been really loving it. It's a dry skin girl's dream. Even though it's quite pricey, it is definitely worth the money in my opinion. Something I would recommend picking up at the Sephora VIB sale that's coming up soon and getting the 20% discount because it is quite pricey, but it works amazing. I just don't like the smell of this. Really can't stand this smell, but it's a really good product otherwise. So if you see me use this huge tart brush, it is the Swirl Power, Power, yeah, it's Power, Swirl Power Cheek Brush. And it's just a huge fluffy brush, perfect for bronzing up the skin. And I kind of bought it to replace my Ida, even though they are, they're shaped nothing alike, but I like this a lot more. And then when I went in store, when I also bought that tart brush, I picked up this Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in Indiscretion. And you can't purchase this on the Canadian Sephora website. You may on the US one, I'm not sure, but you can pick this up in store. And it looks like this. I thought this was limited edition, but I guess they still have it. Just a really pretty highlight. I've also used this in a tutorial already just another one of those really gorgeous glowy goldy highlights. Champagne gold. Beautiful shade. Beautiful design. It's just really well formulated and a great highlight. Then I recently picked up this palette from Makeup Forever. I already did a full review on it and I plan on doing a couple looks using it. But it is the Makeup Forever 15 Artist Shadow Palette. I find them to be the exact same quality. Amazing pigmentation, very blendable, long wearing, everything you could want in an eyeshadow, and I've just been using this a lot lately. So I have a look with that, and I was planning on maybe doing a one with the purples, but I guess I just kind of did a colorful one. So maybe we'll put that one off. But I really want to do a look using these deeper smoky shades. I think that would be a really pretty smoky eye. But I swatched this all out on that video, so if you want to see swatches, go check out that video. And then Urban Decay did send me these next products. A couple of them I have used in tutorials already. This I have not, but it is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering Powder for Face and Body in Lit. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this yet, so I won't swatch it. But it looks like that, just a really pretty bronzy highlight, perfect for the face and body. But I think I might include this in my giveaway because I have received quite a few products and some of the products I kind of want to save for my giveaway that should be coming up soon. Once I hit 100k of course. <laughs> and then Urban Decay sent me five of their new 24-7 waterline eye pencils. So I have the... I think all of them actually, one of them is currently in my purse right now because I did bring it for a Halloween party, the purple shade, but there is a black, green, brown, blue, and then the purple that I have in my purse. But they're really great for the waterline, specifically made for that, and they last a long time. So really like those. And then they also sent me their Vice 4 palette which I've already done a tutorial on. It's that green one. I'm in love with this palette. It's so beautiful. I have the first two Vice palettes. I never purchased the third and then they sent me the fourth one. So I am a fan of the Vice palettes. The brush almost fell out. But it comes with a ton of different shades. It has a lot of wearable shades in it actually, but they do have the pops of color. That green is the, my favorite shade, hence why I did the look on it. It's called Grasshopper but just a lot of beautiful shades. So definitely worth checking out come the Sephora VIB sale because it is, it is quite pricey. So definitely getting that 20% off helps. 
And then I also picked up a bunch of the Huda Beauty lashes that she recently launched at Sephora. She is an Instagrammer, super popular. I think she has like 8 million followers or something crazy like that. She's really popular. But I picked up five of the different styles. That one's upside down. I've only worn one of them and I've worn this twice. It's in Scarlet. And these are quite big lashes. So if you have smaller eyes, these might not work for you, just being honest, they might look too much. Uh, but I had to cut off a good portion of the end for it to fit my eyes. But just the length as well. If you have really small eyes, it's just not going to look right. So that's just my opinion. I wasn't sure if I liked these at first because the band is so thick. But I've been really liking the Scarlet one. But they remind me a lot of the Coco Lashes, this particular style in Goddess. Uh, which is much cheaper from the Coco Lashes, which you guys know I love. So this is kind of just like a little luxury item I wanted to try out, but I do really prefer my Coco Lashes. So if you want something cheaper, go check those out. But if you're interested in these, then you can definitely check these out as well. But so I got Scarlet, Sasha, Carmen. I don't have anything like these. These look so dramatic. I want to wear them in a tutorial, but I'm not sure how it's going to look. Actually, these ones would look good regardless of your eye shape or size. These are the Giselle. So they're very natural looking. So I think anyone could get away with those. And then these are the Lana. These are probably some of the longest lashes I've ever seen. So excited to see how those look on me. And then Too Faced also sent me a PR package, which I'm going to show you now. I've seen a lot of people haul these. So I was really excited when I received it because I don't often get packages from company. Lately I have been getting uh, a couple so I'm really really excited. It's really nice to be recognized by these bigger companies and I was just super super excited. So thank you Too Faced for sending me these products. I do plan on giving some of them away so stay tuned for that. But this is a little ornament for Christmas time. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. And then they also sent me one of these little Melted Kisses and Sweet Cheeks sets. This comes in actually three of them. This would probably be the thing that I would purchase out of all the sets if I didn't already purchase all of the blushes already. So if you have never tried the blushes, I would definitely pick up this set. It comes with three as I said, but they sent me the one. This particular one has Peony and I forget... Oh, Justify My Love as the blush. And I think I'm going to give this to my sister-in-law because I think she would really like that because I don't need it. Too Faced also sent Le Grand Chateau to me and it looks like this. Cutest packaging ever. I'm going to display this packaging if I ever change my rooms uh, because this room will probably become one of my kids eventually. But it looks like this and you open it up. And you open it up, it has a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in it, and then it comes with three palettes. So I'm not going to swatch these in this video because I was planning on saving this for my giveaway because I was going to have three winners, and this comes with three palettes. It says two from on them. So how perfect is that? It just was kind of a sign to me that I should save it for my giveaway. So once I hit 100k, you'll see these again in the giveaway. But I'll just quickly show you them right now. So this one... This one's kind of a deeper one. It comes with some purple, darker shades, and this beautiful blush. And this one is your standard neutral one with a bunch of browns and a, another really pretty blush. I, I'd swatch them, as I said, but I plan on giving these away. And then this is the last palette, what that looks like. So definitely a cute little set that you can either gift the whole thing to someone or like I'm doing, I'm going to break it up into three people and give it away that way. So just a really cute set. And then the last thing Too Faced sent me is Le Grand Palais. I believe it doesn't have the name on the outside, but this is what the box looks like. And it's really cool because this ribbon actually feels textured like a ribbon. So you just open it up. Hands down the cutest packaging. I plan on saving these, but you open it up, looks like this, and you have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the Melted Lipstick in Peony, a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then a palette right here. So look how cute that looks. So I do plan on using this one in a tutorial if you guys want to see one, uh, if you pick this up. So I plan on using these shades soon. It doesn't come with a, near, a mirror, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest 
and this is what the palette looks like so a bunch of beautiful shades i heard that some of the more glittery shimmery shades have a lot of fallout but the matte shades are really good i plan on doing a look with it and i'll let you know more of my opinion because i just received it and haven't played around with it yet so i can't really give you my own opinion on it but if you'd like to see a look or an update on what I think about this palette, then just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Then I have two more things which I thought I'd just share in this haul, even though they're not from MAC or Sephora, but I thought it would be pretty quick to show you. So I picked up this Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic blush and I bought this from Beautylish. That's where I get my Charlotte Tilbury from. They have the nicest packaging. Like it looks old school, which I personally like like an old soul. So this is what it looks like inside. People say it kind of looks like a boob. <laughs> if you see that right there, it has a color around and then a little color in the center. So what you're supposed to do is like swish your brush around and then pop it in the center. And that's kind of how they're designed to be used, but I just kind of go all over and I used it on my cheeks today. It just gives a really pretty glow, really nice color. Probably one of my favorite colors that I've tried in a blush. Cause I love glowy colors like this. And then the last thing I picked up from Shoppers Drug Mart the other day, and I bought this with my daughter in mind. It is the perfume from Ariana Grande. It's called Ari. And that's what I call my daughter. I call her Ari for short, but her name's Ariana. And people asked if I named her after her and I didn't. It was just my baby name I picked out ever since I was younger. <laughs> uh, when you pick out like names you like, that was my name was Ariana. I just thought this would be really cute for her to have because it has her name on it. I guess Ariana Grande's name on it, but it says Ariana. It has a little puff ball and the packaging itself is just super cute. So when I'm finished this, I just thought it'd be nice to kind of sit in her room as just a room piece because I know how much I would love a perfume with my name on it that look like this. So I figure maybe she would when she's older. We'll see. If not, then I can just keep it for myself. In terms of smell though, it's not my favorite, I'm going to be honest. It's it's super sweet. When you first spray it on, it's really alcohol smell, but it dries down to be very, very sweet. So I personally like mixing this with some of my more musky scents just to make those a little bit sweeter and kind of tone down those scents. But definitely a daytime fragrance, very youthful. So if you have like a daughter or a young girl that you'd like to give this to, I think it would be perfect for them because it's so cute in that sense. So that is everything for my Mac and Sephora haul. I hope you guys got some ideas for the upcoming Sephora VIB sale, which is typically in November. They haven't released it yet as of right now that I know of. I've been kind of on the lookout for the date because I've been compiling a list because I want to pick up some of the things I've run out of. But that is everything for my Mac and Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you've been loving lately or some products that I need to check out for the Sephora VIB sale because this goes both ways. I show you and you need to share with me. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully we get to 100k soon because I've, I've been saving some stuff for you guys and I can't wait to give it away. So I'll see you guys soon. I talk about all my favorite, is this recording? Yes it is, sorry. <laughs> it has a, ah! <laughs> someone's trying to get in my door. Ah!